we have, uh, you know, planned out everything. Mm -hmm. Everything was in black and blue in the manifesto. Mm -hmm. uh, we stress on youth empowerment, women empowerment, improving the roads, mm -hmm. uh, so many things. Yes. So all these were, you know, released on the third. And we went to the electorates on the basis of our manifesto and also on the basis of party ideology and principle. Mm -hmm. uh, as I said, I'm repeating again, the election trend, if you have carefully observed, mm -hmm. nothing was working except money. Mm -hmm. And that's the main reason why mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, you know, landed up in this situation mm -hmm. where many of our candidates who were expected to win lost. Mm -hmm. For example, in Tapi, our candidate lost by 82 votes. Yes. In uh, Koridang, about 200 plus votes. Something like that, no? I will not, uh, uh, you know, yeah, I will not go more in detail, but mm -hmm. I think our, most of our candidates put up a very strong fight. Mm -hmm. But it's because of that, that money uh, factor mm -hmm. that we lost. Otherwise, it's not that our candidates are not capable. Oh, it's not that the electorates, people had this party. No, not on that line. But yes. being in the opposition for the past uh, five years, mm -hmm. we could, the party could not help our, uh, the candidates mm -hmm. monetarily. Mm -hmm. The only thing that we could uh, pass on to our candidates was our party manifesto, mm -hmm. the ideology principle. Mm -hmm. So this is uh, the main reason why uh, it's, uh, it's a little discouraging and setback for the party as far as this result is concerned. But anyway, mm -hmm. uh, we may be down for the time being, mm -hmm. but uh, I, will, I, I assure you that we are not out yet. And then now, sir, uh, NPF legislature, legislature party leader has been uh, quite vocal about um, pre-poll understanding for post-poll post alliance. Now that election is over, can you disclose what are those post-poll alliances? Well, uh, you are right. Mm -hmm. We went on our own mm -hmm. without aligning with any other political yes. party. Yes. Mm. Of course, uh, appealing to the other political party who can uh, work together in line with what we have propagated in our manifesto. Mm -hmm. But. Uh, on uh, on the whole, we actually we just we, I mean uh, we can conclude that we went on our own yes. as far as NBA is concerned. Mm -hmm. As far as that theory is concerned, mm -hmm. pre-poll understanding for post-poll alliance, mm -hmm. which the party keep talking, mm -hmm. <coughs> where our leader keep emphasizing on that. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a party principle that we have we have taken a stand on that mm -hmm. that uh, we will not antagonize any other party mm -hmm. because of the fact that uh, we were also not in a position to set up the entire 60 assembly constituencies. Mm -hmm. So politics, uh, you know, when you go to the electorates, we have to be practical. Mm -hmm. So therefore, uh, we wanted to maintain a kind of uh, closer uh, relationship with, uh, I mean, the, a closer proximity with, mm -hmm. the other, with all the political parties. Mm -hmm. But uh, we thought after seeing the result, post poll uh, Alliance can be worked out. Mm -hmm. <coughs> now, since <coughs> we got only two, now, as far as uh, that uh, idea of post poll alliance concerned, mm -hmm. we have the NTPB and the PJB who has already mastered yes. the number. Mm -hmm. So, uh, we have to take a very steady move as far as the NPF is concerned. You must remember that number doesn't matter for us. Okay. We may be two, mm. one, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter. Okay. But what mm -hmm. uh, is more a concern for this party is on the Naga political issue. Mm -hmm. This is always at the back of our mind. Mm -hmm. We don't want to uh, go wrong on this. Mm -hmm. So uh, let us see how the present ruling dispensation takes forward. Okay. And, uh, as far as we are concerned, we were a part of the UDA, mm -hmm. as far as the previous government is concerned. Mm -hmm. The new government, which is yet to be installed, mm -hmm. let us see in which way they will uh, take the people forward. Mm -hmm. Then, uh, if necessary, we will also take a stand. Mm -hmm. 
either to be a part of the government <coughs> or uh, we take our, our we take our own stand that uh, we are yet to take a final call. The party has to be consulted. Mm -hmm. It is not only the you know parliamentary board, the legislatures alone who will decide. Mm -hmm. uh, NPF is a very disciplined party. We don't overlap each other. We coordinate with the party, so party and the legislators, el elected members, they will sit and take a final call on that. Okay. So, uh, are you uh, the NPF in touch with the uh, ruling party? Well, I said NPF that, uh, well, NPF that NPF. I have already stated that, that we are yet to take a decision on that, mm -hmm. then only uh, an official uh, communication has to be made. So unless that decision is taken, mm -hmm. none of us are competent to communicate with uh, any other political party mm -hmm. till uh, that decision is arrived at along with the party and the legislators. Okay. So, sir, earlier uh, as we have witnessed a lot of uh, uh, the elected members from NPF has merged with the NDP, you know, uh, perhaps looking for a green, green pasture. Do you foresee yourself during these five years shifting your allegiance? Well, see, unfortunately, some of our friends left us, mm -hmm. but they have already seen their own fate. Mm -hmm. If you see the result, mm -hmm. many of them could not even get ticket, number one. Yeah. Those who got ticket also could not return. Mm -hmm. So these are the consequences that you face. Mm -hmm if you keep defecting every now and then. Mm -hmm. So uh, one has to learn a lesson on this. But as far as uh, both of us, two of us are concerned, mm -hmm. uh, we are firm. Mm -hmm. We will rebuild this party. Mm -hmm. uh, we need a very strong regional party. I have stated this during my campaigning mm -hmm. that uh, we all are <coughs> having serious concern on this Naga political issue and NBF has already stood the test of time from 1964 onwards till today so this party has to be strengthened because if we cannot have a regional party on uh, uh, having uh, deeply rooted at the grassroots about the Naga political issue. And if we allow this party to die down, then uh, we will be, you know, we will have to uh, hang our head in shame in front of our uh, enemies and opponents. Mm -hmm. So therefore, even though we're in the electoral battle, electoral politics, mm -hmm. we need a strong homegrown political party that stands for, you know, the sentiments and the aspirations of the Naga people. And NBF is on that uh, line, on that ideology. So even if we are only few of us, we will steadfastly stand our ground. And uh, in fact, uh, I would like to request some of our friends, elected friends, to join the NBF. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what is your message to the people? Well, See, I have, uh, f this is my fourth uh, attempt. I lost three elections in the past, 2008, 13, and 18. Now, uh, I want to go give inspiration to the youngsters also. That never quit. <laughs> keep moving. <laughs> then, the, at the end of the day, if you keep fighting, there's a day for everyone. Every talk has its own day. And uh, I've proven my medal. And uh, I'm grateful to my, you know, electorates. And uh, in fact, uh, the entire electorates of 40 Pandari Assembly constituency deserves the highest appreciation from the Naga people. I got the highest number of, uh, you know, mar I mean, a very high margin, 3,500 plus. Mm -hmm. Although being in the opposition, mm -hmm. fully aware that I'm fighting from an opposition ticket, never knowing where to land again, still then they repose their faith on me. So which means to say that it is not only money and muscle power alone works in the election. It is your principle 
it is how you you know communicate it is how you convey your message to your electorate it also matters and it, it, the ideology and the principle <coughs> of the party also matters and people have voted for that i'm grateful to my electorates and those my sympathizers well wishers supporters all over the naga areas not only in nagaland everybody uh, were wishing that i must win this time and i got the blessing from everyone of above all god almighty so uh, i'm thankful to everyone uh, for giving their blessings to me i seek cooperation of uh, everyone as i you know continue as i carry on my journey henceforth to conclude uh, what do you find your constituency like the most and what will be your priority uh, road connecting with connectivity is one okay. you know uh, although nagaland state has attained uh, statehood <coughs> nice 60 plus years back now but there are villages where in my constituency where <coughs> road connectivity is still not there so that will be my uh, topmost priority because once the road condition is good their uh, way of life the, the living standard will improve mm -hmm. the economy will improve and forty pandari is one of the most challenging constituency in terms of geographical areas mm -hmm. it the whole stretch of forty pandari is bordering assam mm -hmm. it is one of the most <coughs> potential constituency you will find oil mm -hmm. which can you know generate a lot of resources which can feed mm -hmm. the, the entire naga people even in terms of uh, you know, land, we have lots of uh, uh, spaces where we can do a lot of development, mineral reserve, mineral resources. So <coughs> this is a very potential constituency. The government must take serious step to uh, develop for the boundary assembly constituency. And uh, I would uh, appeal to the government to uh, take special interest in Forty boundary. I'll be there as far as development is concerned uh, to take our people forward.